Hello guys and welcome to my next video, my new video and today I'm going to start restoring this Corgi Toys Chevrolet Impala and uh, this is the Kennel Club version uh, not too bad, I'm not sure if the suspension is broken or not so I have to, the wheel is in and Martin said that might be broken well we don't know yet um, I ordered new tires and I've got the stickers so apart from that everything is here apart from the dogs which I don't have and I don't bother with them uh, looks like the windscreen is in good shape the doors are working as well on both sides and they're not cracked so I hope that this is going to be a nice restoration and I'm, I, I really enjoy now restoring these older Corgi toys they are a little bit bigger in size so um, easier to do the detailing and they look very nice when, when I finish them. Uh, so I will start this one. I will drill this apart and I will show you the bits and pieces inside. Here we go. So I need to carefully take off the base, which is very simple. Uh, it's just the frame really. So this is good. And uh, we got one pair of wheels at the back and we have another one at the front with the tire residue and this frame should just come up so I'd like to see I think Martin was right uh, there are some bits broken from here and also um, this which holds the rivet in so I need to glue this back and I think I will try to glue something here and a little extension which will hold down the wheel. I don't know if it's going to work or I have to buy a replacement of this. We'll see. I will try to figure it out something. The next one is the interior itself, which looks all right. I think these glue things are where the dogs were. So I try to remove those. Apart from that, it's in good nick. If that's supposed to be like this. And we have the window unit, which is again pretty good. It's just very dirty. So I'll have to work on that one. I've got the side, side windows, both of them, and they are in in a good shape apart from the paint and I've got the um, little back door and the body itself which is again uh, no pillars broken I believe so this will go into the paint stripper and I will clean the other things up so this um, I will start paint stripping and priming and I will come back. So I cleaned uh, the frame with the oven cleaner and uh, I'm just uh, trying to fix this um, missing part. I'm going to use this plastic bumper from a matchbox and uh, I already primed the body with white so I'm praying, uh, spraying with uh, gloss white so you won't see a, won't see a difference really. Um, <clears throat> it's white on white so but really easy um to be honest with you um easy body quite big as well as a, as a, this is a bigger scale model and uh this white is nice there were no problems with this one um i sprayed it twice uh two coats and after i put the clear on and this is the frame the, the only thing i've done on this frame is the tail lights and uh, it's really easy, large scale, um, you can see everything better and it's easier to paint as well. Um, I haven't used a too dark red on this one. Um, this is more like a indicator uh, red, so it's a bit orangey, which I think it um, imitates the, you know, the um, tail light uh, plastic really. So um, it looks really good 
And I really enjoy now these larger scale models, uh, plus they are from the 50s, 60s. So um, it's really nice to work on them and bring them back to life. Um, so you can see it's quite nice. And uh, I'll put this sticker on. Uh, this is actually a proper sticker. And I just realized while I was putting on this that I really prefer the water slides, which is a lot easier to work with. Um, because uh, these ones, you have to find the perfect spot. And if it's not right, you have to take off the sticker again. Uh, as well, um, you have to, you can't move them. As the water slide is very easy to position. So, um, but I didn't know that this is a proper sticker. But anyway, at the end, I managed to put them on uh, just right. Um, I'm nearly ready with the... Um... A kennel club so I just want to go through quickly what I've done I sprayed the base red this is um, Honda Milano red and I think it's very close to the original color I resprayed the interior I tried to get rid of the glue this is the best I could do so Martin said um, to uh, use a blade to get rid of the old glue carefully because um, it's really fragile so I've done my best and I was thinking because it was brown and dirty um, not dirty but um, discolored so I sprayed it with this uh, blue and I re-painted uh, re, um, the uh, stirring wheel and I also put a little bit of glue because it was loose um, I've got the windscreen um, I haven't got rid of that paint but you won't see that anyway um, it was really difficult to get rid of um, I've got the little doors as well. They refurbished um, the little uh, back door and I've got the plastic in, in uh, frame. I've got the um, uh, tail lights painted. I put the um, wheels back. I put new tires on which I bought from the internet and I also um, managed to glue these back so the wheel won't come out as as easy as it would without that so that was broken i've done that as well and uh, i've got the body uh, the stickers are again from uh, the internet but they are actually stickers they're not water slides uh, but i think they look good this is not the original because if you watch martin's video the walk actually as as the um, as you move the sticker the dog walks uh, this one is just a normal sticker so it's not as good as um, the original was so I'm going to put this together and uh, let's see how it looks so I'm going to start with possibly the uh, little door for the back uh, let me see how that goes in I think that goes in like this oops I will sit in there and I need to put the windscreen in and the side doors which I'm going to clean first so the side windows are in next bit is the interior which will sit on that the next bit is the plastic frame which I think I'll, I have to start Finally, again. the base so it's all done and I will put this on the roundabout and you will see. I wanted to do this model for ages, but I never had the tires. I never had the stickers, but I'm really happy that I ordered everything so I can complete this car. And if you look at the state of this and ta-da, this is the um, restored model. I love it. I think it's a gorgeous model and uh, I haven't got the dogs, but I don't mind really. Um, so I, I try to do everything as best as I can and I'm really happy how the car turned out and uh, this is going to be a part of my growing collection of Corgi toys. Here we go, um, the car is finished and I'm really happy um, because it looked really bad when I started this restoration. You can see I did work a lot on the windscreen. You could not see the roof gloss. I've got the um, 
little side doors opening as well and I've got the back door working um, so overall and I've got the um, stickers obviously so overall I'm really happy with the car I think it looks fantastic um, and I've got new tires as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this restoration and please if yes uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and also um, leave comments down below what do you think of this car how did it look and I mean how did it come and if you enjoyed please uh, come back for the next video which will come soon so cheers guys take care and bye bye